I don't know if you've ever walked into an old cabin or an old building that hasn't been cared for, where the windows, you cannot see out of them anymore because they're so filthy. And so you start cleaning them and you realize, oh, there's a whole lot more I can see now that I wash that window and that window and that window. I find in the creation of this cathedral, what we're, the experience I'm having is there are a lot of windows I didn't even know were in this place. And that, that is my experience in my own heart. Like there is a lot of juicy connections with people that I probably overlooked thinking it should be a certain way. I did have arrogant adult beliefs about how it should be. Like, let, let me tell you how to behave, behave as a grown man or a woman. As a mature, spiritually conscious being. God knows where that all came from, but I'm really willing to, to be honest about that. It's present so that I can then honestly let it go and be in the place of what is the culture of the cathedral? What is the playful, joyous, um, mischievous, risky, on the edge, sexy, seductive, engaging um, reality of the cathedral that I live in. Does anybody else think that cathedrals should be seductive and sexy? I mean, thank you for raising your hands. <laughs> because I have to say, if it's not, who cares? I mean, why would you want to be in a place that wasn't like that? It doesn't mean that we have to be sexy and seductive in the way that um, we may have learned to be in a way that's manipulative and earthbound, but to be around people who are creating a seductive atmosphere for my thinking and my loving, it's just, oh. I know I've shared the story many times about when I went to Italy, I had the experience of part of my culture where sensuality wasn't about um, the coarseness that it is in this country. It was just like 70 year old women were grabbing you going, oh, oh, you're so gorgeous. I mean, th that was um, really sensuous and seductive. It wasn't invasive and it wasn't coarse. It was just lovely and juicy. I like juicy. There's that not a lot of um, bad connotations with being juicy. So the, the idea of creating this kind of culture where you are willing to admit that some of the windows in your um, interior reality need to be cleaned, need to be opened up so that the, not only so that the light comes in and you see, but so that your light can go out and be seen. And, you, and how does the invitation go out to come, come into the cathedral, to come into this reality if our light isn't shining out into the world? I'm not talking about proselytizing, knocking on doors, sending out pamphlets. I'm talking about your radiance, the, the very beauty of your being, being in the world so that people can then know it's in their own cells. Their juice gets wake, awakened by your presence. <laughs>